Good day, everyone. You're welcome to Fairly VC Joe World YouTube channel, and thanks for subscribing. If you are new here, please press the red button to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to click on your notification bell to get notification each time we put on a new video. I am back again with another tutorial on ArcGIS, and today's tutorial will be on how to produce map showing the mean annual rainfall and to estimate the rainfall erosivity factor. Rainfall erosivity is one of the factors of revised universal soil loss equation given as A equals to the product of RKSCP. Here are the factors, but today we shall be considering rainfall erosivity factor. More videos will be uploaded on this channel on how to produce a map of all other factors that are responsible for soil loss. So today we are focusing on soil we are focusing on rainfall erosivity factor, which is our R factor. And the method for us estimating R is given according to Lambert method as R equals to 1.03 multiplied by P, where our P is the mean annual rainfall. Here is the table showing the rainfall data of station over a period of 20 years. So this is the station. So over a period of 20 years, starting from 1999 to 2019, from the monthly rainfall data, the annual rainfall data was calculated. And here is the data. This is the annual rainfall for each year. Um, the total, the average rainfall data for the 20 years span was calculated. So the, this is the mean annual rainfall for the whole of 20 years. And this is 16 stations were considered. So here are the 16 stations and this is the mean annual rainfall for each station. So let's get started by launching our ArcGIS and here we shall be adding our data. So you click on file, don't forget the data, the rain, mean annual rainfall data has been saved as s csv format so you add your data and when you want to add your data you add xy data because the data i'll be bringing in contain the x and y data of each station the coordinate of each station so here is the data in CSV format. On my X field, I have my longitude, while on my Y field, I have my latitude. So these are the points. These are the rainfall station. I want to convert this point to a shape file, so I will export the data and give it a name. So, I'll give it rainfall station. So, I have it as rainfall station. Okay. Yes, I want to add this it to my layer so I can off this. So these are the points. This is the shape file of the of this point. 
so I can now add my boundary data I can add my boundary data and we are working on Quara State map so this is the boundary map of Quara State now we have mean annual rainfall for 16 station but we want to work on the whole of Quara State we have to interpolate so you click on your app toolbox click on your spatial analysis tool Special analysis tools. So, on your special analysis tools, go to your interpolation, and we we will use inverse distance weighted method for interpolating. So, click on IDW. You input your point, which is our R rainfall station and the z value will be our mean annual precipitation which is mean annual rainfall so i want to give it a name here i want to name it as my r factor no i want to give it mean annual rainfall mean annual rainfall So you go to your environment processing extent, then you click on same as layer Quara map. Scroll down to your raster analysis, and in your max, click on Quara map. Okay. Okay. So now the mean annual rainfall for the whole of rainfall the raster image so you can turn it your raster to point from our mean annual rainfall we can now calculate our rainfall rainfall erosivity factor which is given as r equals to 1.03 multiply by p so go back to your app toolbox and click on your map algebra then click on raster calculator you can input the equation r equals to 1.03 1 1 multiply your asterisk as a, a multiplication multiply by our p don't forget we said our p is the mean annual rainfall and we've been able to generate the raster image for our mean annual rainfall so substitute this p with your mean annual rainfall so double click while you highlight that so you have it there and you click OK for our mean annual rainfall to be estimated. So now this is our mean annual rainfall. I mean, this is our R factor. Let me rename it R factor. I want to change the color for proper representation so from the color ramp choose a color that you think best represent your information so now this is the r the rainfall erosivity factor which is our r i want to import another data which will show the local government so, no. 
so these are the local governments make it hollow you can see so and i want to label okay i want to change the setting and um go to your properties and go to your label and make the so my name to which is the local government as the so i can off my station so here are the local government and uh, from this map we can see area with high rainfall erosivity factor and areas with medium and low rainfall erosivity factor so you can watch my previous video on how to create a map layout for your map and give it a title legend scale and scale bar thanks for watching